Picasso said that good artists copy and great artists steal. And everyone knows the joy of painting. And that Afro man that loves animals, you know, Bob Ross, the good copy artist. Now, before you sprint to the comment section and draw your pitchforks to burn me at the stake, I want to ask you, do you know the magic of oil painting? Do you know what Pablo Picasso meant by the quote, good artist copy and great artist steal? And is Bob Ross a good copying artist or is he a great stealing one? Let me tell you. So Bob Ross was born October 29th, 1942. And like many people of his time, they ended up joining the army. Bob specifically ended up joining the Air Force and was stationed in Alaska for over 12 years. This is where he would take his very first art lesson with John Tham, a fellow artist at the time turned lifelong friend. Throughout John and Bob's lessons, John really noticed how talented Bob was and he noticed how much he loved painting in front of an audience. People would gather around his canvas as he talked about what he was doing and painting. And he just told him, you know, hey, like, I can't teach you anything else. Like everything I know, you know, and you do it honestly quite good. So Bob ended up coming across the show, The Magic of Oil Painting in his journey to learn more about oil painting. This artist that was teaching that show, Bob became very envious and almost slightly jealous because this artist could paint an entire beautiful landscape painting within just uh, you know, half an hour or so, where it would take Bob literal hours, if not days, to achieve the same result. Once he decided to retire from the Air Force, he spent about a year looking for this specific artist that was teaching the magic of oil painting. Bob had to learn from him. After, you know, that artist took him under his belt, they taught him everything they knew, Bob took and kind of put a twist on what that artist was doing. Of course, he was kind of like the protege of this famous artist. So what happened was Annette and Walt Kowalski recognized that unfortunately the artist who was actually the creator of the painting method was just not quite what they were looking for, but Bob was. Bob had this charisma, he was super soft spoken and he just you just wanted to be around him. So Bob actually took that <laughs> and learn from the artist who taught him. Bob was like, yeah, you know, the artist, it's not that he isn't an amazing artist because he is, but the way he de, um, the way he teaches it is a little harsh and maybe too uh, energetic for some people. So Bob purposely trained and practiced to have this very soft-spoken voice, very intimate one-on-one -on -one feeling with the viewer because he also knew majority of the audience was female. He kind of took what the artist taught him and elevated it to match the audience and his career skyrocketed because of that intimate soft spoken voice that he has. I mean, come on, everyone knows Bob Ross is legendary. And, and just to kind of really capture how much Bob Ross really means to not just me as an artist, but probably the entire art community as a whole is this quote right here. And I'll just let him speak for himself. You know, while I'm doing that, one of the most interesting things that we see as we run across the country teaching this fantastic method is people continually say, I can't draw a straight line. I don't have the talent, Bob, to do what you're doing. That's baloney. Talent is a pursued interest. In other words, anything that you're willing to practice, you can do. And this is no exception. And that right there is what made Bob Ross so magical. It wasn't that he was technically a master in terms of artistic skills to some critics. It's that Bob had this knack and ability to make everyone feel like they can truly paint. He could motivate anyone and everyone to sit down and find the joy in painting. <laughs> Now Bob Ross is one of my favorite artists and he is one of the main reasons why I actually do YouTube and I want to share and touch people's lives with art. But mainly I want to just express to people that the only limitations that you have are the ones that you set upon yourself. But what was this magic of oil painting? Who was the artist behind Bob's career? Who was it that taught Bob this famous oil painting method that is widely loved today? His name is Bill Alexander. 
Now, Bill was a German boy. He was born April 2nd, 1915, and sadly, he grew up in poverty and within the middle of World War One, He actually ended up finding a lot of joy in painting something happier than the gruesome realities of war. Unfortunately, he grew up with children being hurt by a fellow mines that hadn't gone off. They played amongst machine guns and dead bodies and skeletons, and it wasn't a great place to grow up. He ended up traveling across the East Prussian countryside, working with different workshops and things, just painting landscapes and portraits for people. Eventually, he would join the army and after fighting in the war, he ended up settling down with a family and worked in a printing company and he loved doing that. And then eventually he wanted to paint more. He really loved painting. So <laughs> between balancing his family and his work life, he wanted to try to find a way to speed up the oil painting process as it would take hours or days to finish paintings and he didn't quite have that amount of time. So he ended up re uh, reinventing the a la prima art method it's a very old, tested, true and tried. A la prima just means wet on wet. And he created quite literally the um, magic white. And uh, for a while, it would start to yellow. So he ended up working with a chemist. And this is where we get the magic white, or some of us know it as liquid white. And that is what started and created the painting method. He ended up traveling across the world, teaching this method to people. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure he ended up uh, breaking up his family because of it, because he was gone so much. Things didn't work out with his family. So, you know, he had a really hard time, but he loved painting so much. And that's why he would always say, happy little trees, happy little branches. That is where all of that verbiage and language came from, was Bill Alexander. That almighty magic white is on that almighty canvas. Did you have a happy breakfast? Did you have a happy laugh? You know, a happy laugh in the morning is so wonderful. It makes you loose and makes you free. A lot of people never laugh, and I think that is not nice either. After he gained enough popularity, he ended up getting a show, The Magic of Oil Painting, and this is where Bob met him, or well, saw him for the first time, and then ended up becoming his prodigy. Now, Bob actually ended up copying Bill's um, magic of oil painting show and kind of just put a little twist on it to match the audience at the time. Now what Bill said, I'm gonna read it exactly so I don't mess it up. Bill said, um, I trained him and he is copying me. What bothers me is not that he betrayed me, but that he thinks he can do it better. Yeah, so personally, I don't think Bob Ross really felt he was better than anyone. It just really wasn't in his character. He was very caring and loving and was just a very genuinely nice guy. I personally think that Alexander might have misjudged Bob's um, intentions because he was a little jealous and envious. Of course, Bob was his prodigy and when it came to the producers trying to pick who they wanted to go on with the, you know, oil painting show, it ended up being Bob because they just he just fit and the audience liked him more. But at the end of the day, I think Bob Ross was just a better businessman because Bob didn't always speak like that. Bob didn't always look like that. He purposely presented himself that way because he his priority was, I love painting. I think it's very sad how People don't really know about Bill Alexander and kind of, you know, it's not a very commonly talked about topic, but this is going to bring us back to Pablo Picasso. So I'm gonna pop up some artworks here on the screen and I want you guys to take time to look at them and think of what artist made these. And um, if you wanna comment down below before I give you the answer, press pause now. The first one is Jazza. He does like comic book artwork and stuff. The second one is Sam does art. Um, he's very famous in the, you know, Instagram art community and stuff like that. And we've got Van Gogh. Absolutely impressionistic, beautiful work. And we have Bill Alexander. Now, when I popped up Bill Alexander's work, I'm gonna guess some of you might have said Bob Ross. Now, what did Pablo Picasso mean by good artist copy and great artist steal? Art style is the magic that all artists talk about and wanna have. They're always asking questions like, how do I find my art style or how do I copy so-and-so's art style? But art style simply refers to an artist's unique decisions that make up their art process, like the techniques they use, form, color, composition, and many others. 
So as Pablo Picasso put it, a good artist will simply copy someone else's art style while a great artist will take bits and pieces that they've learned from artists over the years and they will turn it into something that people will look at that artwork and be like, that person made that. I can just glance at that artwork or that art style and I know that this person made it. Now your own art style is going to grow and evolve with you as you learn more about art and the different techniques surrounding them. Or even better, you'll create your own art technique in its entirety to solve a problem that you were facing like Bill Alexander did. But our big question does come down to Bob Ross. Now, Bob Ross is known for landscape paintings, but I can't personally say I think of Bob Ross when I see a landscape painting because I do have a bias and I love his work so much. But according to Pablo Picasso's definition, do you guys think that Bob Ross is a good copy artist or a great stealing artist? And while you think about that question, go outside and paint something that makes you happy today. Bye.